welcome back to week three of Tutorial Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be showing you today how to do the triple crochet and the quadruple crochet. Um, last week we worked on the half double and the double, and we're, here we are at the end of the row. We're ready to chain and turn to do the next row. For a triple crochet, you need to chain four. So I'm going to go ahead and chain four. and then turn. So if you remember from last week when we did the double crochet, we, we yarned over once in order to do our double crochet. To do the triple crochet, you need to yarn over twice. Yarn over twice to start. So now you have two yarn overs on your hook. and you, It kind of gets a little bit tricky sometimes and you have to kind of hold your yarn with your finger. Insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. To know that you've done it right and that you're ready to do a triple crochet, you've got four loops on your hook. So then you yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let me show you that again in close up. It's getting a bit harder to do close-ups because there's such long stitches to keep in the camera frame. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Pull through the last two. And as you can see, our stitches are very tall. I'm going to finish out this row and then I will show you how to do the quadruple stitch. Alright, so I finished this row of triple crochet crochets out and we are ready to move on to the quadruple crochet. Now the quadruple, bleh, that's a hard one to say. Quadruple crochet is not one that you will probably find very often um, in your patterns, but I definitely have used it in the past. So I wanted to go ahead and touch on that today as well. So before you turn your work, you need to chain. And for the quadruple crochet, you need to chain five. So this will tell you that this is going to be a very long and stocky stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and turn your work. Now, for the triple crochet, we yarned over twice. So for the quadruple crochet, you're going to yarn over three times. One, two, three, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. And now you will see that you have five stitches on your hook. So you will yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And how many times did you yarn over and pull through? Four times. And that's why this is the quadruple crochet. So let's show, let me show you that one more time. Yarn over your hook three times. Insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. Four times. Let me show you that once more up close if I can get all of this into camera frame. So you yarn over your hook three times. One, two, three. Hold it with your finger. Search your hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. That's once. Yarn over, pull through two, twice. Yarn over, pull through three, two, three times. 
yarn over, pull through the fourth time. And that is your quadruple stitch. So that is how you do the triple crochet and the quadruple crochet. Like I said, you probably won't run into this really long stitch too often in your everyday patterns, but in the more difficult patterns, they do ask for you to do these types of long stitches. So that's my tutorial for today. Um, come back for our, my final tutorial next week, and I will show you how to do the front post double crochet and the back post double crochet. Thanks a lot for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.